about today? <laughs> huh? That's subtle. Subtle. Hey, tell them what's going on. All right, you guys. Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to our channel. To our channel. We love you. We do love you. This is part two of our traveling Travel. across the country, moving vlog. I don't know what we're going to title it, but you guys already know because you clicked it. This is part okay. two of our 14 day road trip, travel, camping, whitewater wrapping, fishing, birthday celebrating, getting caught in a store. Oh wait, we don't, we don't spill all the beans. Don't Let's just jump into it. If you didn't watch the last vlog, click it right here. Oh, the, it'll, be, it'll be right here. <laughs> That's the one where we did Mount, uh, Mount Zion, Utah on horseback riding. It was just ridiculous. Then we drove up, um, in the afternoon and made it to Driggs, Idaho, where we were staying, but we were doing all the activities in good old Jackson Hole. Beautiful. Mm. Because it was Chad's 30th birthday, we made this a special trip and he had friends come in town, our friends Brittany and Kellen and our friend Ryan, mm -hmm. and we all just kind of got in the first night and hung out and chilled and spent time together. And yeah. then the next day is when we did that hike. Oh, okay. Like I said, if you watched the previous video, you will know that we got bamboozled on a hike. Well, we happened to get bamboozled on this hike. Ryan said, hey, I found this hike that's nearby and it should be pretty empty aside from bears. Okay, that's a strike. That's that's gonna be a no for me, dog. He's like, let's go do it. It's six miles, no, no, he, said, he, said he said five said, miles. He said five miles. Five miles, two and a half there, two and a half back. I'm yeah. like, oh. I got five miles Perfect. left in these puppies, even though yeah. we're exhausted. It was beautiful. It was nuts beautiful. But it was actually 8.2 yeah. miles long. And like, it's not that I don't think that we can do that, because we absolutely can, but we previously had hiked, I think, 14 miles in two in the two days back to back. Yeah. And our legs were a little feeling it. And then this one, we thought it was five. So we walked we into it. Just, we were just casual. Like, oh, yeah. let's just take a little Papa stroll. stroll. Papa Mama stroll. What do you say? And like, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. This hike was hard. And Ryan was just oh, enjoying gosh. every minute of it because apparently he's just like a hiker. hiker. Yeah, yeah. He, he's definitely like a hiker. Yeah. <laughs> but we got to, it was like a cave waterfall. What was yeah. it called? Oh my gosh. I don't remember what it was called. We can look it up. Yeah. And if we find it, we can put it right here. Um, but Kellen and I went and like splashed around like a <laughs> like a bunch of hippies <laughs> in the waterfall. It was ice cold. We saw beavers or wombats. I'm not sure what yeah. they were. That yeah. was cool. And honestly, like the part that I enjoyed the most was just all the God conversation we had because the, the hike went from being like, oh, let's go take like a, maybe a two hour hike to like, oh, let's go hiking for 12 hours. It wasn't yeah. 12 hours, but it was long. It felt like 12. But we had the, just the best conversations, just sharing each other's testimonies, what we've been struggling with, what God's been speaking to us. And yeah. those are the moments that you really remember, yeah. you know, and it just happened to be in beautiful God's country. Just our favorite part about our community is how God-centered all the conversations end up being, you know? Yeah, yeah. I feel like that's why we're so connected and that's why it was so hard leaving was because when you connect on like a super deep faith level, you feel like you just know someone mm -hmm. so much more intimately. Yeah. Then the next morning, um, Kellen, Brittany, Tori and I were gonna go uh, fly fishing in the Snake yeah. River, which yeah. is like a big famous river out there in Wyoming. Now this is the second birthday in a row where we went fly fishing for my birthday, which is actually becoming a thing that we both enjoy, we love which is crazy. It. I didn't know that she was gonna enjoy it like she does, but she's actually hooked on it. Wait, we shouldn't tell them the answer to this. We should have them comment below who they think caught more fish. Yeah, go ahead. Answer it in the comments. I'm not bitter. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, vivid. I don't want to talk to you right now. Our guide was just amazing. Um, oh, yeah, I don't awesome. remember his name, but he was just, he was such a cool guy. So then afterwards, everywhere was packed. Jackson Hole was nuts. And so the guide was like, you need to go outside of Jackson Hole to find food. But we got in the car and we all were just starving. I was like, I'm just going to, I'm just going to call this random barbecue place. No wait, we walk right Favor. in. Favor. <laughs> 
and sat down and it was such good food. We stuffed our faces. Yeah, we did. Oh, it was so <laughs> Probably good. Probably a bit much. And then we drove back and Kellen and Brittany both passed out in the car. I got a picture <laughs> of that. Picture, yeah. Oh, that was oh, adorable. So cute. Well um, and then we got back that night and we just, I think you passed out. I, I took I, a nap. I took a little nappy poo and I, I, I went to bed at like, Five, woke up at like nine. I brought you a bowl of spaghetti. I pounded a bowl of spaghetti. In just bed. Just manhandled it in bed. Then I went back to sleep. <laughs> oh man, and then the next day. The next day we went white water rafting, yeah. which was a blast. Oh gosh! <laughs> so white water rafting, I was riding the bowl. I don't know if you guys know what that means, but it's not an actual bowl, it's a water bowl. And I got on the front of the raft, and he said you get bonus points if you just hold onto the rope with one hand and you lift your other hand up. So this was me we basically 60% of the whole three hour trip was me yeah. just literally riding the bull. And I offered to other people, only a few other people. Well the girl the got on and she fell off God, twice. God bless her sweet soul. Oh yeah, then we had the amazing birthday dinner Aww, where Brittany, yeah. Brittany we actually stayed at the at the home where we were staying and she when whenever we got home she had surprised me with balloons and stuff like that. Yeah. I don't know how one person can blow up that many balloons, but Yeah, there was a lot. It's so yeah, cute. It I have crazy. a little video of it. Yeah. Horse around. Yeah. <laughs> it quickly hammers. It's home to the best. <laughs> and unlike other cards, it's it plunges <laughs> right into this that goes the whole nine yards. <laughs> yeah, and then we did your birthday dinner. Mm -hmm. And Brittany got me the funniest gifts. Yeah, I don't know if you filmed didn't. that. No, I didn't. Yeah, I'll have to show you. I'll do some pranks on Tori with these. I'll put it this way. That's how good these gifts are, is they're perfect for pranking my wife. So if you guys want me to do a separate little video of me just pranking Tori with these, let us know. If you don't, I won't make it. So then we had to say bye the next morning, which was sad. Yeah, yeah we said bye. Yeah, uh, that, that was sad. We love those people. Yeah, and then we drove to Fort Collins. Then we drove to Fort Collins where I got to have a nice moment of closure for a friend of mine that I lost during this time. I um, It was hard because he passed um, in April and if I felt very detached from it because I wasn't allowed to fly anywhere or go to any service. And so it was nice to go see his family and do that, and so that was nice. And then we we drove. That that's the night that got crazy. Yeah, and then it got then it got real. It was yeah. real peaceful and real like um, in, internal, and, yeah. like just very like living right here. <laughs> then New Mexico struck. Yeah, it was a tropical storm. They didn't know if it was going to turn into a hurricane or not. It was like coming through Texas. Yeah, well, it was. Yeah, Texas, New Mexico, and Colorado. There's like a little, I think a little, I think that's where it is, a like a little tri-city type area. Yeah. Tropical storm was coming through, and we were actually supposed to camp. Yeah, in this Sugar Rite. Right. Yeah, in this place called Sugar Rite. Right. right. <laughs> you you want to go camping? Oh my gosh, babe, that's <laughs> show, crazy. Show oh my gosh. Babe. This is where we're going to be camping. <laughs> that's so funny. Once we got to Sugar Right, where we were supposed to camp, that's when the lightning storm, ha lightning storm happened. Cars were trying to pull over on the side of the road. Like, it was crazy. I mean, yeah, it was It was, it was, uh, it was freaky. Like we have some videos of the lightning. We pulled over and prayed for like 10 minutes. I was crying. The hard part was, is that we're in the middle of Podunk nowhere. Like literally nowhere. <clears throat> so we got on the road yeah. and then we drove to Dallas, Texas, where yeah. we stayed in the nicest hotel ever. 2020, not a good year for a lot, but awesome year. <laughs> You know, it's been a year, but are you kidding me? Shower? Yes, that's Every, a shower. This, this is what our bathroom is kind of going to feel like. It is going to kind of feel like that. This is the room. This is the couch where I couch. Oh, this is our table. Man. Where are we table? Bless it, Venice. And this is our view. Our bed. Where are we bed? Where are we bed? Where are we bed? Okay. This is our view, y'all. 
So nice. It's like a top 160. What was so funny though is the super nice hotel we stayed in was like the same price as the little the, motel the yeah. night before. It was legitimately like $40 more. Yeah. But that's just because we had to pay to park our car. Yeah. Yeah, and they, they treated us so wonderful. Oh my goodness. They, so they got sweet. us a last minute table at this rooftop uh, restaurant. We, we met up with Michelle Reed. If you guys don't know her or follow her, well, we can put her her channel in the uh, yeah I think we can. yeah 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 we can do that we can do that we got to get dinner with them it was just such a fun conversation mm -hmm. with them then we went home and passed out and we woke up to your boy's birthday Birth you know what time day. it was and so Tori surprised me oh no God no God please no no overnighted when we say we she overnighted this dream watch I've been wanting. I had told her what I wanted, you know what I mean? So it's like, like she, she knew what to look for, knew, knew who to talk to about it, but. Yeah. It's a pretty watch, babe. I got it. It's but awesome. I honestly was so stressed that morning because it was supposed to be delivered before 8 a.m. And he wakes up at like six. Yeah. And I'm like, you need to go back to sleep because I wanted to wake him up with like coffee and a little breakfast and his package. Yeah. And yep. I was like, please, can you just pretend that you're asleep? I did. <laughs> then we drove to Waco, Texas, which is yeah. where Magnolia is, to Chip and Joanna Gaines, Fix Her Upper. We are obsessed with them. We love Chip and Joanna Gaines. We love Magnolia. We love everything they do and everything they stand for. It's like, you know, it's a dream. Just Oh, and we met the sweetest people there mm -hmm. in Waco. Literally, by the end of the day, they were like, y'all need to come back. Y'all are like family. That's so funny you say that because like, I felt that too because I remember whenever we made it to Dallas and I walked into the hotel and people were like, hello, welcome. It's good you're here. I'm like, thanks. You know, like, and then someone else said it and I'm like, thanks. Then someone else says it and I'm like, what, what is, happening? what is going on? What is going on? What are you doing? You know, like, Southern Michael! Hospitality. That was a Dwight reference. It took me a moment to go from, they're not being paid to greet me, just like most places, especially out there in California, New York, or whatever, are, they were genuinely like, like Scott, the guy, oh, yeah. our concierge at the hotel, He's like, so gosh, I could have talked to that guy all day. And honestly, yeah. he tried to talk to me yeah, all day. he did. <laughs> he was in our room for a while. Yeah. It, people were just so kind and thoughtful, and we missed that. We kind of, I, I felt like I've become maybe a little bit jaded because I haven't been around it in a long time, but. I just forget that, like there's. Nice people. Nice people. Yeah, me too. Then after we finished Magnolia, we drive to Houston, Texas, where we did not have a problem because it was amazing. Yeah. And Tori took me out on a beautiful birthday dinner to our favorite place, Ruth's Chris. Oh, it was a fun dinner. Fun. We didn't touch our phones once, praise God. And we just had such a wonderful conversation mm -hmm. as like a married couple and as a birthday boy. We drove from Texas to Louisiana, the Cajun Ragin' State, mm -hmm. the then through Mississippi, then through Alabama. And then Florida. But what did we do when we stopped in Alabama? We stopped for a Publix sub, oh, my lads. Of course. I'm a Publix sub type guy. If you guys don't know what that is, you're missing out. Yeah. So we stopped there, then we finished on to the Panama City, Florida, where Tori's actually from. Mm -hmm. And we stayed there with her mom yeah. for three days and her yeah. brother. Yeah. And we just had the best time. Yeah, we took a pontoon boat out to Shell Island and Chad got really burnt. Now he's peeling. I'm peeling so bad. <laughs> it's like, I feel like I'm a reptile. And then, yeah, we had another little birthday dinner for him with my family and just really relaxed and mm -hmm. It was, it was nice to just and, kind of like... And then her uh, her mom had brought their camper and so we actually were at a campsite where we got to finally set up all our camping stuff. So that was yeah, nice. That was so nice. we didn't miss out on that and getting all yeah. the gear from L.O. Bean yeah. and then not being able to like take advantage yeah. of it. So that's that cool. Was really cool. And then the next day we drove. Florida welcomes you, baby. Vivis, we're in I, Florida. I feel like we crossed the threshold. We're in the promised land. <laughs> God, we made it, babe. Then we drove in. We drove in, y'all, to Lakeland, Florida. Lakeland, Florida, where we reside at. Where we reside. <laughs> All right, y'all, we gotta wrap this up. Well, we love y'all. Thank you for joining us on this journey. It's only the beginning, which is really yeah. crazy. If you like this video, 
you give know. it a little thumbs up. You know what to do. We what love you. We we'll see you in the next video, which will be us kind of settling into this place. And Ooh, you'll get a better teams. picture rather than just this picture. Oh, turn it off. <laughs> it is. I can't turn it off. I'm Bye. always on.